Hello all. Today we are going to have a demonstration on Excel sealer which is done with Girish Surgical Works which is based in Mumbai, Maharashtra, India. Today we are going to have a demonstration of Excel sealer advanced module. In this there is a touch screen. At the machine back end there is a port where you can insert the main cord. Below that you can see a fuse. If the machine has been fused, you can get the fuse here and you can replace it. Here is the earthing point. If there is earthing in the machine and if it is not there in the OT, you can give the earthing point here. Here is the volume knob. When you use the machine, the volume comes when you press the foot switch, the hand switch pencil. That it indicates that the machine is working with the volume knob. You can control it. Control port. Here you can insert the monopolar foot switch, and this is for the seal foot switch. Now, what all the accessories I'll be showing you, which will be coming with the machine. This is the mains cord. This will go to the mains electric board. So, in this electric board, you can insert it here, and you can put on the switch. And this female connector will be going to the machine port where the main female connection is given. With the machine there are two foot switches provided. One is monopolar for the cutting and coagulation. The other foot switch is for the seal and bipolar. In this there is a connector which are to insert to the monopolar foot switch. Here the slot is there. This slot should match the connector and you have to tighten it properly. It should not be loose. Now the second port which is used for the bipolar and the seal. Even in this you will be getting a slot here. This you have to insert it into the foot switch connection and even this you have to tighten it properly. So now both the foot switch, monopolar, bipolar, it is connected. Now we will put on the machine. Now this is the screen what is come. In this axial sealer, the touch screen machine is there. In this we will see how, what are the features. Now we will go on to the first feature that is pure cut. In this pure you can increase or decrease the output with this touch button okay in this it will be 100 percent cutting will be there now we'll see the blend too in this blend the cutting will be 70 percent and 30 percent will be the coagulation in blend two it will 60 percent will be cutting and 40 percent will be the coagulation endo cut is used for the underwater this is the cutting features in this column. Now we will see the coke column. In this the first feature is spray mode. In this the coagulation will be done into the spray mode which you can use it for the tumor and in this the ball point electrode you have to use for the force. In this force you can use the normal flat cutting electrode also but in this the coagulation will be the 100% coagulation, fulguration. When you are doing fulguration, it will give you only the fulgurate mode which will be comparable to the spray and this is the desiccate mode. In this you can do the neurosurgery, spine surgery, any point cutting, uh, point coagulation is there, that time you can use that. Now in this bipolar and the sealer mode, we are, suppose we are doing a bicoagulation, the output as I told you it will be increasing and decreasing from this mode. Now the by cut. This is very important. In this by cut is what you know. If you are using a bipolar scissor, if you are using it, then you have to insert the bipolar scissor here. And this is the feature which can be used only for the by cut. Means when you are cutting the artery, the blood won't come out because the scissor which has been used that is the bipolar scissor. That is what auto. When you are doing it on the auto mode, the automatically. It will stop when you are doing the coagulation the machine will stop automatically 
and now on the seal mode as i told you there is a level 1 level 2 and it will go to level 10 so you have to select this and you have to use the bipolar open lap uh, laparoscopy instrument you can use or for the open sealer you can use by clamp now this is the sealer by clamp open by clamp and this is the hand switch pencil now there is a bike lamp this so at the other end you will see there are two banana jack pin which will be going to the seal port here two holes are there in this port you have to insert the banana jack pin as well as in the second port you can see the hand switch pencil which are three pins are there into this one is little far and two are little close so even in this port you will be getting the same thing two are little close and one is little far so you have to insert it properly here this is done this is bipolar forceps with this silicon reusable cable cord so this two banana jack pin will be going to the bipolar port where the two holes are there so this bipolar cable cord female jack pins male jack pins will be going to this port now this is the very important part now here you can see a sign of patient plate which is indicating that it is completely black now now this is the silicon reusable autoclavable patient plate cable cord we will be inserting it into the patient plate port now also you can see i had inserted the patient plate cable cord but the machine is indicating that it is not connected properly why because these two pins are not connected to each other now suppose if i connect it to each other you can see that this sign will become white see if i leave it it is black if i connect it again it is white now these two pins were to insert it to the patient plate now this is the conductive patient plate which is completely black which is completely conductive now in this plate you will see that this is split type patient plate because this part is conductive even this part is conductive but till you connect this both point to each other it will not connect so now what i am doing is see i am inserting it this two banana jack pin to the patient plate now also you can see that it is not indicating white because it is not connected because this is the split patient plate in this the machine there is a patient monitoring system now this patient plate is split type patient plate when the patient body is connected properly to the machine that time this light will glow it means that the machine is into the proper cycle mode so now there is it is completely black it is not white white will indicate that it is connected properly so what i am doing is i will connect it like this see now i connected my hand to this it is showing white color it means it is properly connected if i move my hand from here on this split type patient plate the light will go off it will not indicate see now again if i connect it it will glow white means it is connected properly so this is why the split type patient plate has been used on the machine so you can use a conductive both side black patient plate as well as you can connect the split type also it depends it is optional now we are going to see how the hand switch pencil which is cutting and coagulation which is used on the machine so i had connected the hand switch pencil here at the hand switch port now i am using cutting mode which is 365 watts so now in this hand switch pencil when i am trying it here you can see the cutting mode is 195 watt and the coagulation is 120 watt so when you press this button on the screen you can see the cutting output is 195 watts see when i press this it will show you 195 watts this is pure monopolar so we'll try on the soap this was the cutting and the coagulation if i press it will show 120 watt on the screen now i'll be trying it on the potato
and the coagulation which is 120. Now if you see the output of the machine which is coming is 195 watt which is very much and the coagulation if I see that is 120 watt. Now what we had seen the output was 195 and the coagulation was 120. Now how to control this? This is the main important thing into this. Pakkana from the starting I am doing it again. Hmm. Now what we had seen into the machine is what when we are doing the surgery the output was very much it was something 164, 120 and how to control the output which you can find it on this mode. This is the program. Now number one, suppose the doctor is coming and doing the surgery it is loaded. Now in this first you will see in the program, the programs are there, it will go till 99 programs and we have to come it down again till, means whatever the programs, the 100 doctors can come and do the surgery and suppose after a year he is coming and he want to do the surgery and he want the same output, that time suppose the doctor is coming and uh, he had kept his uh, in memory that the all the surgery output is uh, okay with him into the program number 4. So he will go on that and he will save, so the same output will be found that uh, it is cutting is 74, coagulation is 34, bipolar seal is 32. So this is how the program is. Now we will try it on program number 2. Okay. Now this you can increase it. Now suppose on the pure cut the output is forty-eight. The coagulation, the spray mode, will keep it 51, the bipolar and the seal will keep it on bipolar code. This is the sign which is there, I means suppose this bicode, you have to press it according to your requirement if you have auto mode, the seal mode, the bicode mode. So now we are doing it on the bicode mode, bipolar coagulation. So we had set this and we had to just press, yeah, it is saved. Program data stored, okay. Now, so now this is how we can set the program and in this, the second part, you will see there is a setting mode. Now, if you want the brightness, you can increase the brightness accordingly. If you want to, little brightness, if you want, you can press and you can go back. The brightness will be the same. On the setting again I'll increase the brightness it will go to 8 and it is done now the brightness you can see with the machine you will be getting a active handle which is reusable autoclavable this is the handle and this is the banana jack pin which will go to the active port now even in this we will be using the hand switch as well as the active the foot control one these two holes are there which is little closer and which is one more which is there that is little far so this jack pin will be going to this port which is little far from that two jack pins hole in this there is the foot switch which is monopolar which is cutting coagulation this is the seal one and this is for the bipolar so now we'll we are going to see how it works the monopolar foot control one. I am using the cutting mode. This I am doing non touch, non touch cutting it is. Now we are doing the coagulation. Even this is non touch. This is the bike line used for the open surgery. Here in the seal mode, you have to insert this bike line cable cord and this will be going to the bike lamp the two female holes are there which you have to insert on the bike lamp 
this is how it will work for using the cell you have to press this pedal and for the bike puller if you are doing you have to press this pedal so now we are going to see only the mode which will be using it for the sealing now when you are using a seal mode means the open bike lamp you are using so you have to commit on the seal mode the output will be getting zero so you have to go on the level two and now you can see suppose this is the artery this we have took a cotton and we are trying it this is only on the level two it is now you suppose if you are going on level 3 after doing the seal it will automatically stop and the buzzer will come see like this now we are see going to see the vessel sealer which is used for the laparoscopy surgery so these are the two banana jack pin which will be going to the seal mode the same how before we had used for the open bike lamp surgery and the other port which is this will be going to the vessel sealer we have to insert it like this one laparoscopy instrument is there that will try we'll seal it now if you want to see on the level 1 this is level 1 level 2 it will keep on increasing how much output you will give it's depend on your requirement now in this you must have seen that this patient plate wire is connected which i had not removed once also it means it shows that without patient plate the machine will show you that it is completely dead so patient plate connection is compulsory because this cycle of electro cycling which is patient monitoring system is there into this machine so this cycle should complete means the current is coming is into the patient and again where it will go so it will go back to the machine so that is why this patient plate is been used which is called rem cable cord means return monitoring system that is now in this will be giving you imported nylon reusable forceps which you can autoclave it and this is the reusable bipolar cable cord which you have to insert this forceps into the bipolar forceps connection and this two banana jack pin will be going to now this port where it is giving a bipolar so we are using a bipolar so but obviously the cable cord will be going to bipolar port when you are using a bipolar but obviously there is two forces into this and one here it is mentioned that this is the bipolar so this pedal you have to press like this now we are going to see how the bipolar is used now from the seal mode which was there on the seal because we was looking that how the open vessel sealer and the laparoscopy sealer was working so now we have to go into the bicoagulation when we are using a bipolar forceps so now we have to press the forceps bipolar and we'll check it this is how the bipolar works now we have just put it on the bipolar the output which we had kept that is 22 if you want to increase from here you can increase or decrease you have to do it here so we'll keep it on 30 and we'll try this on the soap so this is how so smoothly the bipolar works now this is on the potato this is on the cotton 